Hello, live from London, this is BBC News. With more violent disorder in the UK, the British government denounces Elon Musk for suggesting it means that civil war is inevitable. I think Elon Musk's comments are totally unjustifiable. Um, I think at the moment, as I have said, everyone should be calling for calm. The parliament in Bangladesh is dissolved to make way for a new government, a day after the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina dramatically fled the country after being forced from power. Blindfolded and beaten, Israel's leading human rights organisation likens the country's prison system to a network of torture camps for Palestinians. And I'm Courtney Bembridge, live from Edinburgh, where we're catching up with more than three and a half thousand acts performing here for the Festival Fringe, including talent like Flo and Joan. Hello there, I am Ben Brown. Welcome to BBC News Now. Three hours of fast-moving news and analysis. The British government condemned the tech billionaire Elon Musk for suggesting that continuing riots in the UK show that civil war is inevitable. The Justice Minister Heidi Alexander said Mr Musk's remarks are deeply irresponsible and that social media companies should be helping to clamp down on misinformation. Well, you're watching BBC News. That was uh, Paul Adams with the latest uh, there from Israel. Much more to come, including the latest uh, from Bangladesh and also the latest on the violent disorder that we've been seeing in England and Northern Ireland and uh, the government's reaction to it. Do stay with us here on BBC News. Hello. The weather's been a little hit and miss with some rain here and there.